Greetings everyone, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today we're gonna have some fun with the best electronic drum sets for beginners. There's many ways to go about getting your very first drum kit. If you're a parent and your son or daughter have been taking some drum lessons and they're just dying to get off the practice pad and get behind a drum kit, then any one of the kits I have here today are worth taking a closer look at. Also, it's worth noting that these kits will work well in a school setting, in a house of worship setting, or if you need something small and compact to control the volume. Even if you have an acoustic kit at home and you're looking for an affordable option for your very first electronic kit, I encourage you to take a closer look at any of these kits I have here today. Now hopefully you'll stay with me throughout this video, but if you want more information about any of these kits, make sure you click on the links in the description below and go to Sweetwater.com where you can get more information on not only these kits, but on every electronic kit we sell here at Sweetwater and we sell a ton of them. Now along with those two ways to get information about these e-kits, one of the very best ways to get details about anything we sell here at Sweetwater is to reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer. They are experts and will help you find exactly what you need for your specific situation. All the kits I have here today are very competitively priced and can give you everything you need other than your drum throne to start playing drums right out of the box. All the kits are really easy to set up and come with detailed directions on how to put the racks together, where the pads go, and how to plug everything in. One suggestion that I do have for you, especially if you're a beginner and you've never done anything like this before, is to set up the drum kits like you see in the pictures in the owner's manual. And then after you play for a while and get comfortable, don't be afraid to make adjustments. I'm talking about lowering the rack bars, adjusting the heights of the pads, where you put the pads, and various things like that. Make the kit comfortable for you. Okay, now I got my trusty drumsticks. I'm gonna go through each of these kits I have here today, play some sound examples, let you know what each kit comes with. Let's have some fun. Ready to have some fun, people? Yes, I can feel the fun. I can feel the love in the air. Let's start today with the Yamaha DTX 402 electronic drum kit. This kit is really easy to use because there's no menu diving. All the controls are right on the front of the module. You can go in and customize the drums, create your own drum kits, tune the sounds, adjust the volumes, and more with the DTX 402 Touch app that you can get for iOS and Android. But you can get started by just plugging everything in, turning the power on, and start playing. The module has 10 preset drum kits and it has 450 onboard percussion, drum, and keyboard sounds. There's 10 play along songs, 10 training functions, nine types of onboard reverb, a metronome, and a tone generator. Everything's connected to this four post rack. You get very nice feeling and responsive eight inch rubber pads for the snare and toms, and you get three 10 inch cymbal pads for the crash, ride, and hi-hat. There's also audio and MIDI over USB, which is a fantastic feature for a kit at this price point. If you're slightly more advanced and you've been doing this thing for a little while, you could connect this drum kit to your computer and your DAW. Not only can you record the sounds coming right out of the DTX module, you can also connect to third-party plugins and play those sounds, which means your sound palette is really endless. So with all that being said, let's get into some sound examples from the DTX module here. Very first kit is Pop 1. Here's what it sounds like. Let's try pop number two.
as you can tell, there's lots of sound options here. There's a lot of great songs inside the DTX module to play along to as well. Each style of kit you pick has a certain song that's already put with it. So let's pick pop number one, hit the play button for the song, and this is what you get. There's also demo drums that come with each song. Just make sure the drum button on and off is turned to on. You can also have the click track going at the same time. Just hit the metronome button when the song is playing. So all very easy and convenient things to do. Just press the buttons and have some fun and start playing. There's also some great training functions on the DTX module as well. So with this kit, get some nice feeling pads, some really fun sounds, very easy to use module. It's all really convenient. Definitely something to check out. Now, let's move on over to this baby right here. This is the CAT KT150 All Mesh Electronic Drum Kit. You can see the difference with this kit as compared to the Yamaha and all the mesh pads for the snare and toms. You get three dual zone pads for your hi-hat and your cymbals. The kick drum pad is rubber, but it's set on the tower, which is more like a real kick drum, and this set comes with its own kick drum pedal. Everything's connected to a nice and sturdy four post rack, and there's a crossbar towards the bottom at the center section, which adds to the stability. Everything is easily adjustable. You can dive into this module and adjust the drum sounds however you like and customize kits to your taste. Now it's time for me to play you some examples from this KT150 drum kit. I'm gonna start at the beginning, Stadium 001, and this is what it sounds like. Kit number two. Ready to rock? This is Rock 003. There's all kinds of great sounds in this module, from acoustic sounds to electronic sounds, and the dual zone pads make it very convenient. Tech 12, this kit right here, has two different sounds on the snare drum pad. Clap sound and which is really cool. That inspiring or what? The KT-150 also comes with some songs in it and you can have the click going on at the same time. Just hit the song button, scroll through which song you want, hit play. It's gonna start the song. If you wanna have the click, just hit the click button too. All very easy to do. There's some very nice coaching features in the KT-150 to improve your technique and your time. Also, you can add reverb to the drum sounds if you like, which is really cool. Just hit the reverb button. So here's the sound without the reverb. Hit the reverb button. Oh, big sounds. That's really cool. All the inputs and outputs on the back of the machine are very easy to use and self-explanatory. There's also USB to MIDI on this box as well. So lots of great features, very easy to use, nice feeling pads, a cool drum kit. Next up in our best electronic drum kits for beginners is the Alesis Surge Special Edition electronic drum kit right here.
With the Alesis Surge, you get all mesh pads for the snare and toms. The snare pad is 10 inches and all the toms are 8 inch pads and they are all dual zone. With this kit, even the kick drum pad is mesh and it's attached to a power. And you get an Alesis kick drum pedal. You get three 10 inch pads for the hi-hat and the cymbals. And the cymbals also have the choking feature. Everything easily connects to this four post rack and all the pads connect to the Alesis Surge drum module. With this module, you get 40 kits, 24 are preset and 16 are user kits that you can customize. Also, this unit comes with 385 sounds. With all that being said, let's get into some examples. Start with kit number one. Here's what it sounds like. Feels really nice. These pads are actually really quiet. If I turn the volume of the module down, you're pretty much not going to hear anything. That's a great feature if you're going to be playing these electronic drums in your house, in an apartment, somewhere where you need a drum kit to be quiet. If your parents are in the next room trying to sleep at night and you want to practice, this could be a really great option for volume. And the sounds are really cool too. So let's get to kit number two. Here's what this sounds like. Nice. Kit number three. So as you can tell, lots of great acoustic sounds, electronic sounds, percussion sounds, pretty much anything you can think of. A cool feature about this Surge module, drum module here, is that whenever you hit a pad, it lights up on the module itself. So you can see exactly what you're doing. The Surge module has a very nice LCD screen. You can see it easily. All the buttons, if you want to dive into the menus, you can get to those really easily as well. If you want it to click, just hit the click button. There's the click. Turn it back off. There's some nice song, great training functions, and on the back of the box, there's regular five pin MIDI in and out if you want to connect to other devices. Also, USB to MIDI, like the other boxes in our lines here. You have your regular left, right, in and out, and aux in if you want to connect, say, your phone to play along to other songs, and also a couple of trigger ins to add more pads if you want to do that. All in all, a really fun electronic drum kit, great feeling pads that are really quiet. You get a mesh a kick drum pad, an easy to use module. It's a lot of fun to play. The last two kits I have with me today are the Roland V Drums TDO2 electronic kits, and they are right over here to my left. Both of these kits come with the TDO2 drum module, and they have lots of pads in common. The tom and cymbal pads are the same on both kits. The TDO2K, which is the one on my left here, this version comes with this very simple three-point rack, and the module is set right in the center. It has rubber pads for the toms and the snare. The KV version, which is the one I'm sitting behind here, comes with a nice four-post rack and a PDX8 snare pad, which is mesh. Both versions are very easy to set up and the TD-02 module sounds great and is really easy to use as well. 
The module comes with 16 factory kits, a metronome, and five different coaching functions. You can connect this module to your computer with the USB MIDI, just like you can with the others. There's also a spot right on the back for the optional Bluetooth adapter so you can connect your phone wirelessly to the TDO2 and play along to your favorite songs. We're going to get to some playing examples here in just a second, but I want to mention to you that I did a video not too long ago on these two exact kits. These are relatively new kits from Roland, so if you want to get even more into the weeds about these particular kits, make sure you check out that video. Click on the link in the description below. Now let's get into some sounds. I'm on acoustic kit number one. Here's what it sounds like. Kit number two. Big Rock. Kit number three. This is kit number seven, Funky. This next kit, number 12, is Hyper Attack. What's really cool about this kit is it's really compressed and has a really fun sound to it. Check it out. <laughs> the hi-hat goes It's really cool. Lots of fun acoustic sounds, electronic sounds, and again, really easy to use. Just scroll through the kits with the plus and minus button, Get back to anything you want by hitting the kit button in case you're in a deeper menu. And there's not much to it. There's also an eighth inch input in case you want to connect your phone to play along to your own music. And again, it's really simple. The mesh pad is really nice and feels really good. All in all, really cool kits, whether you get the simpler version without the mesh snare or the KV version with the mesh snare. And there you go, five great electronic drum kits that are perfect for beginners and more. These weren't deep dives into any of these kits. I just wanted to show you the options of what you can get and what's out there for you if you are a beginner. If you need any more information about any of these e-kits, make sure you go to Sweetwater.com or contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, or even better, do both. You'll be sure to get the answers you need so you can buy with confidence. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, everybody. I'm Nick DiVirgilio. Virgilio.